In this demonstration, we're going to talk about making a band ring. And if you have any questions, you can refer to your step-by-step -step, uh, Lost Wax Casting Process Worksheet. There's a reference, uh, a, a part about that, all the details in there. We will be introducing the metal lathe, and the metal lathe is a machine that is potentially dangerous, so you must understand its operation for your own safety. First of all, when operating any machine, safety glasses is essential. Make sure your hair is up, make sure your clothing is tied back. Now we're going to look at the metal lathe and I'll show you the controls. Here is a, um, we're pointing at the, the carriage right now and there's only a couple things you need to worry about this. If you want to adjust your tool post in and out, this is the hand wheel that you use. Secondly, if you want to move your uh, rest side to side, this is the hand wheel that you use. You want to make sure that you do all adjustments while the machine is not running. On the left part of the machine, you'll notice there's a series of electrical controls here. This is how you turn the main power off to the, onto the machine. If you flick this switch and then push this button, a, a little green light should show up. That indicates that there is now power to the motor of the machine. Now before you begin, there's a couple things you need to do. Uh, by this time, you probably use the ring sizers to determine the size of ring that you're going, going to make. Today we're going to make a band ring. That's a circular ring with no top. Um, and what you're going to do is find which finger you're going to make it for and then find the proper size so it just slides over, not too loose, and not too tight. Once you've done that, then you're going to come to the office and see me and I will give you a piece of wax. And this is what you're going to make the shape of your band ring with. Now there's a hole in the middle and that's pre-sized. So if you come to me and say I need a size 10, I'm going to give you one piece of wax with a hole that's got a size 10 in it. And this allows you to accurately make your ring sizes. Here are some of the typical lathe tools that we use for making our wax rings. The first tool I'll show you is this one and it's got a flat nose and it's been ground back so that it's at the center of the piece. This is my favorite tool for shaping uh, and reducing the outside diameter, damp, diameter of my ring. This is my the second most common tool that I use. It's got a curve in it, so this allows you to round off the outside edges of your ring. And there's a couple other tools here. This one has got a V, so if you plunge into your piece, it'll create a V shape. And secondly, this one is rounded at the top, so if you plunge into your piece, it'll create a groove that is rounded. These are all wood-handled ones and for your safety. And secondly, these tools are only used in the production of wax bands. By now, you guys should be familiar with wax solvent, usually contained in these bottles. And I have a cloth here to apply it. The first thing that I like to do is wet my cloth and because in the manufacturing process of making these, I like to smooth out the inside of my ring. Just a quick visual inspection will make sure that it's all uniform in size and that'll allow me to make a better product. Now as you experienced before, you've learned that this lever here, when lifted, turns the lathe on. You can see the chuck is spinning now. One thing you need to know is to make sure that it goes in the right direction. It needs to rotate in the forward direction, which, as you can see, is over the top like this. By pushing the handle down, you will put it in reverse, and we don't want that to happen. As always, we need to know how to stop it, and this machine is stopped by easy, one of two ways. One, to return it back to the middle position, 
and I must caution you not to push it too far because pushing it back in to the bottom will cause the machine to go into reverse and it does create mechanical problems. You can damage the machine. On the front of the machine here is a foot brake and these machines are equipped with foot brakes so if you want to stop the machine instantly turn it on and step on it and you can hear the machine come to a stop. It's one way of making sure your machine comes to a quick 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 stop. Nice accessory. Now when you use the brake what often you have to do is bring it back to the middle and then lift again to continue on with the use of, of the machine. So I'm going to now demonstrate how to properly set up your wax piece on the lathe and that's simply by grabbing your piece and sliding it up the tapered mandrel till, it fir till it's firmly, uh, firmly placed. Now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of my cutting tools now remember, I've familiarized myself with the machine and I'm going to turn it on um, for the first time with my wax piece in place. Now as I turn it on, remember I'm going to lift the handle. That creates a rotation. Now as the machine gets up to speed, you've got to notice and remember to keep your hands clear of all the moving parts. Because that's the safety consideration. 